Well, first of all, I, I watched that video and it, it, is, it shows you how bad the situation is. We do have a humanitarian crisis to drop these children have no idea where they are in the middle of the desert, New Mexico, uh, miles away from any any uh, civilization. So I'm, I'm glad they're uh, in, in, you know, we're picked up by Border Patrol. Thank God. Uh, I think this whole situation uh, really comes down to two things. One is deterrence, a message of deterrence, which was not given. Uh, the message was by the secretary, if you want to, if you, uh, if we're not saying don't come, we're just saying don't come now. And that was a bad message. But on inaugural day, the president, President Biden, uh, signed a, an executive order rescinding these policies that actually, you know, whether you like the prior administration or not, they were actually working. It, it actually, and sir, it's not about the prior administration. The, the specifics of what was like, not liked about that was that they were separating the kids, and now we don't even know how to put the kids together. You've said well, that the Biden. Right. Well, let me let me finish. You've no, said no, that the Biden the administration, sir. Just and a moment. I stood up against the separation of family. Right, but wait, just, just a moment. You've, our our yeah. time is limited. You've said that the mm. Biden administration created this crisis. The numbers of encounters in President Biden's first month are extremely high, but there were nearly fifty thousand of them that happened in the first month of President Obama's administration. There were nearly twenty thousand in President Trump's first month. Is it the truth here that the problem is these countries from which they come are in crisis and our aid to those countries had been cut off? Th this has been a problem for years. Isn't all of this just playing politics? Well, look, I, I just want to report the facts. And, and you're right. I've seen this movie before in 2014, 2019. I do think we're sending the Remain in Mexico and the asylum cooperation agreements with the Northern Triangle uh, contributed to this because the traffickers know and, and opened up. Uh, we're open for business for them now, again, unfortunately. But to your point, the root cause is a very important issue. Uh, we won't fix this till we get to the root cause. Um, I passed the Northern Triangle Security Initiative, which provided law enforcement and uh, security assistance. But I think at the end of the day, uh, I know you've got a, a kind of a, a economic uh, uh, people watching this uh, show. At the end of the day, I think the State Department, we have to work with private investment to lift up the economic conditions down there, which is always the driver. Why else would you send your five-year-old child up a dangerous journey? And I think that's ultimately going to be the answer. And at the same time, Shepard, uh, it, it counters malign Chinese behavior in the region. So me, I, I, to me, that's a really win-win on a foreign policy level. It, it's hard to imagine a situation where it's so bad at home that to try to save my child's life, I would take my child and give it away to a country and not really know what's about to happen. That is a sad state of affairs. You've written a letter along with the Republican members of the Foreign Affairs Committee to the Secretary of State Blinken, criticizing the decision to rescind former president's Remain in Mexico program. But critics said that policy was inhumane because it forced migrants into dangerous situations in other countries. Why bring up that program now? Shouldn't Congress be working toward a larger solution here? Well, you know, we try to change these legal loopholes. Once they set foot in the United States, the court decisions uh, and, um, you know, the, the human trafficking law, uh, you know, the children are put in the custody of HHS, as they should be. But what that policy did previously was it, 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 uh, it required them to apply for asylum outside of the United States. So they never set foot in the United States. Now, with that rescinded, the traffickers know this, and now they're coming in in droves uh, into the United States. And it's a cause, a direct cause and effect. <clears throat> I think they were planning to build a detention facility in Southern Mexico, where we could have more humanely dealt with them. And um, I know there are questions about the tent city on the border, but I think the idea of having them apply out of the country and not uh, inside the United States was a very successful uh, idea that we got to go back to. Congressman Michael McCall, one thing every American ought to be able to agree on, <laughs> we don't want anything bad to happen to these kids, and we certainly want them to be with their families when they can be. So good of you to come tonight, sir. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.